If you guys are looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 22 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and they have 24-7 support. Head over to MuttReserve.com and use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over my weekend league lineup update, guys. This will be my first lineup for the first weekend league of Madden 22, guys. Now, there will be some adjustments to be made, so I'm going to go over the lineup I have currently. As well as the players I plan to upgrade with the new additions that will be coming out this week. And kind of give you an idea of what my like what I feel is a good team to take into online competition. And I imagine a lot of you guys are sitting there with your overalls and your teams. And you're like, I wonder if I could take this guy into a weekend league. And I'm going to go over that in terms of what I think is going to work for me. As well as what could potentially work for you. Stat overall wise on paper. Now before we get into the video, make sure to go down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell. Give this video a big thumbs up as always. And of course, if you haven't already, smash the like button. Enter the Poodle Squad shoutout. All you gotta do is like the video and comment down below Poodle Squad and be sub to do so. And today's Poodle Squad shoutout goes out to Schmitty. Uh, thanks so much for showing support each and every day. And yeah, if you need coins to pick up some more weekend league players, all you gotta do is head on down below to Mutt Reserve and use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off your order. That's enough of that. Let's head on over to my lineup and show you guys kind of what I'm dealing with in terms of player by player. All right, so I'm gonna break it down position by position for you guys so you guys can get an understanding in depth of each guy. So. We got Patrick Mahomes, but he is not the quarterback I intend to take into weekend league. Primarily because his release is kind of slow, and I actually really want speed this year. Uh, I really like the way speed feels this year, even without a skate artist. I really want to get some speed in, and Patrick Mahomes at a 71 is super slow. There's a lot of times with the way defense plays and everything, like there's been times where I have so much space to run, or I want to just extend the play to roll out and throw with it. I, I like that kind of like that style of offense, like the the mid game with, with scrambles to the right or left. I like doing that, and I cannot do that with him, and it kind of annoys me. But yeah, I intend to pick up maybe Daniel Jones. The new flashback that did just come out today, that card is OP. He has an 85 speed with 89 throw power. He only bet he doesn't have a he's gonna have a stronger arm than Mahomes while being faster. An 88 overall flashback with a power up. Danny Dimes may just be the best quarterback in the game. So I'm gonna power him up. I'm gonna get him. That's gonna be my quarterback for weekend league. I honestly think it's gonna go really well with him. Halfback. My halfback for weekend league is gonna be Saquon Barkley. They may be asking, is this the 85 overall? To be honest, guys, the 85 overall is super good. 87 speed, 86 excel, 88 agility. If you need a budgety beast at, at running back, Barkley's your guy. But I intend to upgrade him, him as well. On Friday in Superstar MVP promo part 2, we will be getting a Saquon Barkley 89 overall. And I intend to power him up to a 90 and make him a, a god running back. So that will be my running back for Weekend League. So Danny Dimes and Saquon, the two giants, will be leading the charge. Which is something I never thought I'd see him but literally ever. At wide receiver, we have... Brandon Marshall, he's just insane. You cannot go, you can't get much better than you can't get better than Brandon Marshall right now. He's insane. The the route running, the catching, the speed, the height, <clears throat> the trucking, the change of direction, the stiff arm, the juke. I love him. He's great. He has power. He can run block. He can do just about everything on the field. I really love this Brandon Marshall card. And he's been the wide receiver one. At wide receiver two, guys, we're gonna have Jamar Chase. We have that speed going on, right? So we're gonna have a 91 speed. So we're gonna have that speedy deep guy. Brandon Marshall, and then I hope by then I can level up a little bit more and get Devin Hester up. If not, we'll probably rock with Randy Moss just for the speed, just for this week. Because I really don't use my wide receiver three that much, so it's really not going to affect me. At tight end, we're going to go in with Kyle Pitts. Kyle Pitts is one of the greatest tight ends to start the year I've ever played with. Uh, I would I would have preferred to have Kittle and Kyle Pitts, but I won't be at level 50 by then. I know that for a fact. This level of grind is ridiculous. I won't be sitting there for 30 hours grinding. I, would do, I actually want to take advantage of the objective system. I don't want to grind all out to level 50 and then have all these objectives all year that I can't do. I kind of enjoy having the challenge of doing objectives. It's kind of fun to me. Uh, I mean, I've been literally doing all the objectives. I want to see kind of how long it would take if you just did the objectives. Probably make a video on it as well. But tight end, Kyle Pitts, insane. The line, though, David Bakhtiari is actually probably the best left tackle you can get. He does go for quite a lot right now. 106, almost 115. I probably should sell him. But David Bakhtiari is uh, my left tackle. Probably the strongest left tackle you can have in the game right now. So that's going to be good for the blind side. Joe Thune's at left guard, not too great, but again, I have a strong um, blind side, so that's very important to me. Skipped all the way down to there. And center, we have Ben Jones or Bruce Matthews. I might rock with Brent, Ben Jones. He does have some abilities right now, or I'll pick up the new Bruce, but again, coins are a little tight. I don't really want to upgrade lines just yet. Shaq Mason at right guard, very simple. And then at right tackle, we do have Braden Smith. Again, decent, nothing too great. I think David Bakhtiar is really the strength of this line. I mean, that's really it. Left end, we got Michael Strahan and Jack Youngblood. Now, I actually plan to... I don't know what I'm going to do here, right? So, Michael Strahan goes for 174k. I kind of want to sell him and use Youngblood at left end. But the issue is, too, is that Michael Strahan's good. Like, 
he gets 91 power move and if i put once i put my strategy card in there he'll be a 90 block shed and power move guy like that's big in this at this point in the year he's gonna be athletic with speed and block shed and power move all above threshold like he's really good so what i'm thinking is right i'm contemplating moving jack youngblood to right end and starting michael strand at left end and then here you'll see my next move is aaron donald now i'm thinking should i sell aaron donald because this is good for a lot should i sell Aaron? oh he's 167 now should i sell aaron donald or should i put him at defensive tackle this right now currently i have aaron donald at defensive tackle with jack youngblood on the uh, right end and trend on the left that's the current plan but again my defensive line stacked like they, they play really well young blood gets the young blood is really good he gets the quarterback well and then of course down on the straight hand i they're just really good in the run game i mean Strahan's probably good in the pass game as well. I just haven't played. I haven't played enough with Strahan out there uh, because I've been playing a lot of solos and uh, solo battles and offline stuff. So I haven't played enough online to see how he really plays online. But I imagine he's good. Defensive tackle. We also have Kenny Clark going as the second defensive tackle. So he's really good actually. He's been playing well for me. Now here's the problem, guys. I have no linebackers at all. Like I actually don't have a single linebacker. Uh, the problem is I really don't like any linebackers in the game. I think all the high overall ones suck and are slow, and all the fast cheaper all, all the fast low overall ones are super expensive for their overall and they're gonna go they're gonna drop price like like um the spill um the, what's his name spill and all those guys like 50 60k guys that are gonna drop an overall literally the second anything comes out so i don't want to be stuck in that financial crisis there luckily i've had cam chance to come in a linebacker so i have him there but i do need one more i definitely need two more linebackers i need one pass rushing one so my plan is maybe to get the von miller but i heard he was kind of trash so i'm either gonna get the von miller so for the whole linebacker core, right i'm gonna have cam chancellor in the box and i'm either gonna pick up one of the budgety fast guys and then von miller or demarcus wearing one of the budgety fast because it's kind of the plan here again kind of tough because i know linebackers are just super overpriced because there's no good ones right now and the second one decent one comes out the linebacker market's going to actually crash and it, it's gonna make sense that you're gonna want to get rid of them right quarterback we're actually pretty strong here Darrell Rivas is a beast now I do need to power him up but of course powering up is a little bit expensive right now uh I do need to power him up though so I get the 90 press I get the 90 zone and 90 man with uh throw with track cards and everything I get the 90 speed as well as then get the strategy card again I'm gonna need to get him up and overall but he's really good I love Darrell Rivas he's played really well for me in solo battles which solo battles is actually a decent test of how good players are because they play well in solo battles JC Jackson I just haven't felt the need to sell him just yet because JC Jackson's actually, uh, he plays pretty well. Not so, I'm sorry. I haven't felt the need to upgrade ab above him so far. He has great speed, and that really matters right now. So, JC Jackson, Darrell, they've been super fast. And, of course, we got Deion Sanders. Now, Deion Sanders has had his moments of athleticism, as well as his moments of being stiff farmed in the open field by Derrick Henry. So, I'm not exactly, I don't love the Deion Sanders, but he has made a lot of big plays, just like Deion does. I would like to get, get myself one more corner. To put, I would like to put JC primarily at the nickel. Uh, that's what I would prefer to do, like the nickel spot, the dime spot. I want to get him there. I feel like that's where he'll excel. I need like another Darrell S coverage guy next to him, and then JC out of the nickel. That's kind of the that's kind of what I want to go for here, but it's gonna take some time. Free safety, Darnell Savage. I love this Darnell Savage card. He's played great for me. He's at 87 speed. He's at 82 zone, 84 hit power. He gets the job done. Will I want to upgrade him at some point? Yes. And what would I do with him? That's great. I could still put him at linebacker. So hopefully, my plan is once Cam Chance is high enough overall, maybe use Cam and. Uh, cam and ed reed at safety right and then move darnell savage to linebacker which is actually where he'd be really good as well or keep cam at linebacker cam could also play cornerback but I, I don't really want him there uh strong safety ed reed guys ed reed is the greatest strong safety i've played with the start of madden game he's like he's isaiah simmons-esque except ed reed just makes a little bit more plays in my opinion ed reed is 90 speed 91 excel right now which in this madden is a big thing like trevon morg they're fast with 91 zone, so he's already a zone threshold guy in the first week of Madden. 80 hit power, which means he can also hit stick, which you don't always get with that recards. And guys, he's just an absolute ball hawk. That 87 jumping right now, you feel it. He's gotten, so, I think in my first my first game with him, right? Because my first game, the guy quit in the second quarter. And the second game, the guy quit in the second quarter. So I count those two games as one full game. Edward had a total of four picks user in those, in, those, in those two games. He just gets everything. Like in the red zone, when they do like a Z spot or they do like a, a quick out or quick slant. If I, if I get, like, even, if I could be four feet ahead of the receiver, if I just, like, cut down the line, right, as they go to throw it, he'll jump it from the line. Like, he's really good. With 90 juke, so he's going to be Deion Sanders, like, too, which you don't get guys like that all year. There's not many Deion Sanders, like, defenders that are super athletic. And he could actually tackle, too, and, like, well, he can hit, which a lot of, like, Deion can't do and those guys can't do. Guys, that is it for the video. That is going to be my weekly lineup. I will show you the bulk lineup here. Again, there's some changes to be made. I have to get a linebacker core, and I have to get Daniel Jones. 
Uh, but otherwise, the offense with Daniel Jones is pretty much set and a Saquon upgrade, but the player names are set. And then defensively, some linebackers, and then we're going to move the... Oh, well, yeah, the, the lineman got messed up. The defensive lineman setup got messed up because I, I did press Y to fix my team, and I have to put Aaron Donald back at defensive tackle, but then to put him at defensive tackle, he's already starting at right end, so I got to take him off right end. I got to put Jack Umbo over, but he's starting there. I, I hate doing it. It's such a process. I probably should make two lineups, one called best overall solo lineup, and then one called my actual team. I probably should do that. I will get on that. But yeah, enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you need some coins to pick up some of these new legends like Ed Reed, Marshall, or Strahan, or Marshall, Revis, Strahan, Ed Reed, yeah, head on down to Mutt Reserve and use code Poodle at checkout for 50% off. The link will be down below in the description. Thanks so much for watching. Smash the like button. Subscribe. I'm out. Peace.